From WineAndFoodWorld.com, this is A Bite Into History, the immigrant stories behind classic American foods. I'm Doug Levy. Throughout our history, immigrants have brought recipes, techniques, and ingredients here, and they've created things like the New York Egg Cream. In the 1890s and early 1900s, soda shops like this popped up all over the place, and many of them could sell a thousand or more egg creams on a busy hot summer day. Some of the shops still exist, not nearly as many, but egg creams have become a part of the fabric of New York, so much so that Harriet the Spy had one every day, and Lou Reed wrote a song about them. Making egg creams at home is really quite simple. You just need Fox's You Bet chocolate syrup, plain seltzer water, and fresh milk. That's it. Take a tall glass and squirt about an ounce of the chocolate syrup into the bottom. That's about an inch, or maybe a little bit less. It's okay to be generous. Then add about two ounces of fresh cold milk. And it's really important that your ingredients are all very cold. Then fill the glass with the seltzer water and you'll see this wonderful white foam form at the top. Now you may be wondering, how did it get this name, egg cream, if it has no egg and has no cream? There are a lot of possible answers, but the most likely one is that egg cream is what English-speaking New Yorkers heard when the Yiddish shopkeepers were speaking in Yiddish and said, ek kim, which is a Yiddish expression that roughly translates into pure sweetness or real delicious. It sounds plausible, and it certainly makes sense, and the best part is it means that when you say egg cream, you are actually speaking in Yiddish. And that's the story behind the egg cream. It started in New York. It was a blend of German and other Eastern European cultures with New York seltzer. And it's a combination that has worked for more than 150 years.